larger population. So how close uh, the shape, center, and spread of just some of the population is to the shape, center, and spread of the whole population? You will recall from prior presentations, oftentimes when we're looking at a data set, what we want to get from that data set is what's going to be the middle point of, of the data set, what's going to be uh, the shape of the data set, uh, and so on. And so we want to know those characteristics for the sample, but not so that we can understand the sample more, but so we can infer that and say, is this going to be similar for the entire population? It's the entire population that is important, although we're going to be analyzing, of course, the sample in a similar way as we did when we knew the entire population and we're just trying to get an understanding of, of the data that we have. And then this question of how confident we are gets to be quite tricky and we'll dive into that more in future presentations. We just want to get an idea of what we're doing with the statistical inference here. But if you take the sample, then the questions are, you know, can we infer that sample to the entire population and how confidently can we do that? Can we do that with a certain level of confidence? The more we can get numerical data uh, about how confident we are, then the better predictive power we have, the better tools we typically have as well. So practical uh, applications of statistical inference. So clearly the election polling is usually the first thing that comes to people's minds oftentimes. And in that situation, when an election is impending, it is not feasible to ask every single voter who they will vote for. So clearly when you're trying to predict the results of the election, we can't just ask everyone because that's basically we would be taking the election <laughs> at that point in time. So what we can possibly do is have pollsters take a sample, say a thousand voters, and based on their responses, try to estimate the voting pattern of the entire electorate. So of course, they're going to try to get a sample and see if they can get the data on the sample and infer that results to the entire population. So it is the challenge of statistical inference to extrapolate